Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. With this loading screen right here in FIFA 22, we have new Shapeshifter heroes confirmed to be coming this Friday in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. It seems like there's going to be a continuation of Shapeshifters as it was kind of leaked and as we were kind of led on on Twitter earlier this week from Foot Sheriff and a couple other people saying there might be a third and fourth week of Shapeshifters, here is the confirmation of at least the start of that with that loading screen right there. So I want to take a look at that and some pack code that we have had added this evening to talk about how it actually might look because we really still don't have a lot of information. We don't know very much except for they're coming. There's one leaked card via SBC and there's a pack that is going to give out multiple hero shapeshifters. So that means I would expect most, if not all of them, are getting upgraded. So we're going to talk about that. And of course, EA did the business yesterday on Wednesday with the 93 plus tots slash shapeshifters player pick the 85 plus player pick return fodder is absolutely to the moon it is a sell time 100 on that stuff and i want to talk about how thursday as it usually is today might be a bit of a quieter day but how the market reacted to everything yesterday a lot of your shapeshifter prices are down uh as your fodder is up as people have gone and done that sbc so we're going to take a look at all of that and an end of an era gareth bale has been teased not a full leak. We're going to take it with a grain of salt, but we have to talk about that as well because that could be a really massive card. So if you're excited for Shapeshifter Heroes, make sure to thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Right now, I'm going to throw it to another version of me just for a second. Huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Guys, summer is here. The sun is shining. Shirts are off and it's time for the barbecues, the pools, the beaches, being outside and you want to be looking your best and be maintained and groomed to a T. And Manscaped is here to help you with that. Join 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get ready for hot guy summer by going to manscaped.com and use code TFA for 20% off and free shipping. Now, just a quick overview again of some of the products that Manscaped offers inside of this fantastic Performance Package 4.0, we have the Lawn Mower 4.0 Trimmer with the Advanced Skin Safe Technology. We've got the LED light, and this thing is very, very quiet. It can get rid of the biggest mess of hair. There you go. We also have the nose, Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, which is also fantastic. We have the Crop Preserver and the Crop Reviver, all a part of this Performance Package. Couple bonus items here, as we have mentioned in the past as well. The leather shed bag or tote bag, this thing is very quality. It comes with the performance package and so does the brand spanking new Boxers 2.0 with probably the best design I think I've ever seen. Like, look at that, man. That's pretty freaking dope. It's got the Manscaped logo with the shades on it. I think it's hilarious. And both those things come free with the performance package as you see right here. So without further ado, go to manscaped.com, use code TFA for 20% off and free shipping and get ready for hot guy summer. All right, back to the video. Huge thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Let's get right into it about the hero shape shifters. Now we saw the loading screen, right? It shows us the car design of what the hero shape shifters are going to look like, but we can kind of deduce some facts based off of this pack code that was added just a couple of hours ago. I'm looking at this untradeable shapeshifter pack. It says contains seven untradeable gold rare players, guaranteed two to be 88 or higher. That's pretty cracked, by the way. In addition, you get a draft token and a player pick between three hero shapeshifter players on seven game loan. Now, the only hero shapeshifter that we had news about before this, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It was this Ole, right? But this is an SBC. So before this, we had no legit information about more than this card. But if there's a pack code added that gives out three hero shapeshifters, that tells me, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I think they're going to drop a shapeshifter card for every Maybe not every hero, but at least a full team of 11 heroes. Um, you know, maybe some that were included in the foot captain's promo. I know, of course, everybody wants this Ginola to be getting a card. I would really hope that Ginola finally gets his card, an upgrade. This is the same card that he's had since the beginning of the year. EA, it's time for an upgrade. So these are the cards that we really want to see get new versions. But even guys like Abedi Pele, Joe Cole, uh, Cordoba, who has a really cracked, um, of course, card from foot captains, 
Um, these guys could get even another version of a hero shapeshifter because the way this pack code reads to me, it would make me think that we are going to have a full team of heroes in packs and not just a couple like they did during the hero captains and foot captains promo. So th by the way, this reads, that's kind of what I'm thinking, but hopefully today on Thursday, we get a new loading screen. And that's something that often happens, right? If they drop a loading screen on a Wednesday, usually they follow it up by upgrade, updating it and showing us some hints of some new cards that could be coming out on Friday on a Thursday. They, they kind of link the, or link those, leak those, uh, and give us some teasers on, the, on what those might be. We have no other leaks right now about how this is going to go down, which I kind of like. It's kind of interesting to have that little bit of unknown for right now, but maybe today we will start to see what heroes are going to be getting in this promo. I'm sure there are going to be some leaks, so definitely watch out for that. But based off the loading screen and the pack code, to me, makes me think that we're going to have a full team of heroes and packs, which also makes me wonder, what are they going to do with other cards and packs? Because if you guys remember during the foot captains promo, these, these guys are very hard to pack. They are not very packable. I mean, a lot of people haven't even had a chance to pack these cards or, you know, upgrade packs, player picks. I mean, these guys are incredibly rare on the market. Only one page of, of Robbie Keane on the entire game of this card at the moment. He's really, really rare. So I would also imagine that they would have to put some other sort of cards in packs, whether it's re-releasing shapeshifters, which I think is a possibility, or this is could be the time of the year since it's basically July, they could start re-releasing old promo cards back into packs. Maybe from the second half of the year, they throw back, you know, headliners, future stars, foot birthdays, fantasy foot cards, um, any any of those, even team of the seasons, this could be the time of the year where they start doing those batches, right? Think about footies last year or summer stars. They had those batches of players mixed up from all different promo teams from the past couple of months. They put them back in packs. It could be that time of the year already if they're going to put something else in packs. And I think they're going to have to because hero shapeshifters, again, they're heroes. They're very hard to pack. It's easier to pack than an icon, but still very, very hard to pack. So I think they're going to have to do something else. And if they don't, then that's going to make shapeshifter cards that are going out of packs go up even more because it's going to be very hard to attain these hero cards. And I think, especially in tomorrow's video, once we get a little bit more information, I'll try to maybe talk about how expensive some of the cards might be if there's some leaks and stuff like that. Now, the other question is, are hero shapeshifters going to cause some panic? You know, like if we get a new version of, of Ginola or Cordoba, I, th I feel like the only panic that this is going to cause to the market is on the really high tier, your really, really expensive cards. Maybe your elite tier shapeshifters like Ronaldo, Messi, Marcelo, Ramos, um, those types of guys are going to be the ones that will get hit the most because a lot of these hero shapeshifters are probably going to be really good statistically, pretty cracked and they're gonna be expensive. If they're hard to pack, and unless EA release some sort of either preview pack this weekend or token pack, which there's nothing in the code right now for a token pack for summer swaps, then there's not gonna be a lot of supply coming to the market that would be extra to make these cards cheap first day. So unless anything in that department changes, hero captains are probably gonna be very expensive day one, and most people on the game are not going to be able to afford them unless EA somehow make them cheap, which I don't see happening. So I think the rest of the market's gonna go either of two ways. The heroes are going to be the only thing in packs and stuff is going to rebound and go up, or uh, they're gonna somehow include something else and then there's gonna be a whole other list of possibilities and uh, maybe some panic, maybe you know a preview pack or something like that. That's kind of how we see it going tomorrow and hopefully we learn a little bit more information about that today as to how that might be going tomorrow if they add like a token pack to the code or anything like that. So a lot of unknowns at the moment. We'll just have, kind of have to see how it plays out, how it goes, and what is leaked. Now, the other thing with this pack code that is very interesting, the 85 plus times five, and you know, you might be like, Nate, that sounds a lot like an 85 plus times 10. This must be the 85 times 10, uh, the younger cousin, right? Like it's, it's a Pokemon that's not evolved yet. It's the 85 times five. Five rare gold players rated 85 plus. Hopefully this means an SBC is coming soon for this, but that also would probably add to my argument that they might be re-releasing old special cards in packs, because if you think about the 85 times 10, that was first available last year when they had re-released special cards in packs. So maybe this is the beginning of that, and they're starting a bit earlier this year with an 85 times five. I don't know, a lot of theoretical thinking in today's video, a lot of just 
spinning the wheels and, and trying to create a theory and thinking through things and how EA likes to make this game tick uh, and turn. So that's kind of my thoughts right now with everything related to Shapeshifter Heroes. Again, we need more information. Hopefully EA to update the loading screen. We get some new pack codes and maybe some leaks. And that would give us a lot of info on how we would expect to see these heroes updated for Shapeshifters. So that's everything related to that. Of course, hopefully we'll find out more today. Now let's talk about the 93 plus and yesterday's content because EA really just hit the refresh button from last week in the past two days related to content, right? We had the year in review on Tuesday, and then yesterday and Wednesday, we get the 93 plus tots and shapeshifter player pick again. Now, I think they technically made it a little bit cheaper with 85 and 87 squads, but with fodder going even higher, the price of this SBC was actually about the same as what it was last week, right around 300,000 coins, still very fun to do. Although I think the pack weight this week was not as good, I got lucky, I got Militao, so it was worth it for me to do, but I saw a lot of people packing, you know, Jesus Corona wasn't bad, but I saw a lot of goalkeepers, LaFance, Yuris, Neuer, Koulibaly, Ruben Diaz, those lower tier players, cheaper players, uh, but still, very fun content, GG's to EA, the 85 plus was re-released as well, that is a solid SBC, and you know, honestly, one of the most fun parts of content yesterday was... You might be like, Nate, where, where did a million of your coins go? Uh, we spent a lot of coins on lightning rounds, but for a while, we were actually making profit off of the 84 plus trio and the 85 plus duo lightning rounds because fodder is so expensive. It's honestly like, let's open a 25K pack with coins here just to see what happens. If I get a board or like an, if I get a walkout, okay, which I didn't, wow, that was terrible. But like an 86 or an 87 rated card right now, the fodder goes for so much that, um, that you can make a lot of coins back if you're opening some of those higher tier lightning rounds. It's actually a great time to open packs or to do league SBCs because every time you get a walkout, I mean, 86s are all like 17K when a couple weeks ago they were like 9,000 coins, right? Or I mean, 10,000 coins. So it's crazy to see how much this fodder has gone up. You know, your 90s are 41,000 coins, your 92 Lewandowski is 55K, but mostly it's like your 87s, your 88s, and your 89s. And, you know, even your lower tier, right? 84s are 6,000 coins a piece. 85s are basically 12k a piece as well. Fodder is very, very high because of all the content that we've had and that lack of supply. So with it being this way, and of course, after yesterday's content, the stuff going up even further, and you have rivals rewards today as well, I would probably take a look at selling a lot of your fodder. I just went through my transfer list uh, of all the extra fodder that I had, and I sold a lot of cards. You can see here, right? Yesterday when I was opening packs with coins, I packed Tiago Mendez and Pereira in the same uh, 85 plus pack. That was dope. Packed Arnautovic tradable yesterday. Packed a messy tradable. Like just from those lightning rounds, I spent about a million and a half coins. Didn't make my coins back by any means, um, but it was a lot of fun. And, you know, at least you give yourself a chance at making something back and at packing a cool card. So I think now is a sell time on fodder. I don't imagine EA dropping any really, really insane content today. Um, and, you know, speaking of today's content, really what I would expect is probably a marquee matchups or a throwback marquee matchups because they continue that trend. Even though there's not a lot of games going on, they did this last week, a throwback marquee matchups. I think this is where they could put a token today for the summer swaps. If you missed yesterday's token, by the way, it is in objectives. It is under the silver stars, the silver stars player here, which actually that's the most cracked silver center back I've ever seen. Uh, for a 74 rated card, that's kind of crazy. But this is where your your token was from yesterday. Only one token. So if you didn't weren't able to find it, that's where it is uh, right there. But it's probably going to be a bit of a quieter day. Now, the only thing that we could potentially see today would be a leaked Trent Alexander Arnold, the flashback SBC. This is the only leak that maybe could be in relation to this week of content and not later on this weekend after. Um, this next Friday, I think Trent could be a piece of content that we see today. Uh, we have had player SBCs on Thursdays before, so be ready for this. Potentially, it could be dropped. We will just see. Again, I really think it's going to be a quiet day, like a lot of Thursdays have been. EA just allows us on Thursdays to kind of catch up, right? We got the milestones objective for summer swaps. I've been working on these. I got two of them done. Got a couple of squad battle games to go. Maybe you're trying to work on the Delaney, or I finished Emerson yesterday. Uh, I'm working on Delaney token, which right now I only have 
one out of five. So I got to fix up if I'm going to finish that one uh, right there, or maybe shapeshifter cup or whatever it may be. I know a lot of people are working on those sorts of things. There's a lot of SPCs that are out right now as well. If you're doing player picks, today's going to be a last day to kind of catch up and do some more player picks and maybe save some player picks for whatever cards are going to be coming into packs uh, on Friday. So that sort of stuff is going to be the vibe today on Thursday. It's going to be a bit of a quieter day, I would imagine. Um, but let's talk about shapeshifter cards on the market because that was something that we haven't really covered yet. A lot of these prices, as we expected, I know some of you guys are like, Nate, when to buy El Shah for my team? They dropped a lot yesterday, right? And this is what we were saying from the start of the week. Um, these guys are back down to almost their lowest points. El Shadawi is 319,000 coins. The lowest that he has been Sunday night was like 310. So he's almost back down to where he was. I would expect today on Thursday, more lightning rounds. Wednesdays and Thursdays have been both been lightning round days. So I would expect all these guys to maybe trickle down in price just a little bit more. And the top tier elite tier guys, I'm, I'm going to say it again. I think you would want to hold off on buying some of these players until we really learn and see what the whole shapeshifter heroes thing is going to look like. Um, and then from there, we might be able to make some decisions on if we're going to buy these guys or, or, or get rid of them, depending on how the content looks. But Ramos was 1.9. He's now down at 1.7. Uh, Corona was, I believe he was like 270 or 280. And now he's like 230, 240,000 coins. So a really nice drop on some of these cards. Actually, Corona's up a little bit. He's like 250. So, you know, these cards are down all a little bit uh, from yesterday's lightning rounds and yesterday's um, content, right? Some people yesterday were like, oh my goodness, I have to go out and do the 93 plus. So they sell the Corona or the El Shirawi they were doing. Then they can go and buy fodder to afford the SBC. And then bang, they go and do the SBC. So there's a combination of that and people that are packing the cards from the lightning rounds, supplying them on the market. So a combination of those two things is what caused these guys' price to drop yesterday. I think they could go a little bit lower today. So just keep an eye on them. I don't know if the drop would be as drastic as yesterday. Um, as you know, you see Shira, El Shira went from 350 down to 310 and is still kind of around that range. But uh, maybe some more slight drop off today. And then Friday morning will probably be another good time to keep an eye on these guys, depending on what it looks like might be happening on Friday for the big promo drop. Other things I want to look at, we do have a couple leaks. And I got to talk about these because these are actually pretty legit. The first one is not super crazy, uh, but we have a new objective card that is leaked. This tells me again that we're going to have more Shapeshifters content on Friday. I mean, it's not really a secret anymore since EA dropped the loading screen. Sentonze, um, his base card is a right wing back. He's got one in form this year. So it's a French right wing back in the league on, but he's going to have a position change. So I don't know if EA is going to make him a center back based off of these stats, which I guess are predicted. Um, you know, that looks more maybe like a center back card to me, but also maybe they could make him a CDM. I don't know what EA is going to do with this card. We'll have to see. Um, but this is going to be our next objective item. That is a leak probably for Friday, since we wouldn't expect another objective card until then. And then of course, this was the big leak yesterday. And this got a lot of people really excited for a bail end of an era. Now, this was not actually tweeted out by Foot Sheriff himself. So we're going to take this with just a little bit of grain of salt here. And you're not going to believe it fully because this is tweeted by a different account. This account has been accurate before, but if it's not Foot Sheriff tweeting it out, then I'm not going to believe it as much. So again, we just re reserve our judgment here. Nothing against this guy, but you know, Sheriff is the one that's been the most reliable this year, just from being, you know, watching a lot of leaks and seeing what has actually come. Sheriff is the most reliable. So, I mean, if you're a Madrid fan, you love this, right? The potential here is unbelievable. Of course, Gareth Bale already has a really, really cracked card with the road to the final, which was, I believe, dropping in price a good amount yesterday after people saw the leak. He's 250,000 coins. I think he's down like 20 or 30K. Yeah, the leak, I mean, he was down more than that. He was 300,000 coins, went down to 246, and then it was back up to 270, but it's still down again. An end of an era bail, if it's going to drop, would probably drop on the weekend. I would not expect that to be today. Who knows? Um, I think that would be more of like weekend content, like Chiellini was um, in our last end of an era was on the weekend as well, Fernandinho. So I think that would be more weekend content if I'm being completely honest, but watch your Real Madrid links. People have already started to buy a few of these cards up. A very popular card for people to buy yesterday was Modric, who is 250,000 coins at the moment. When the bail leak came out, Modric went from 230 all the way to 280. 
and then it's back down now to about 250. So watch those Real Madrid links because I think if Bale is actually leaked by Foot Sheriff, these guys are probably going to go up again. And that would just be a card that so many people would want to do. Now, selfishly, I really hope it's a left back. Uh, if they made if they made a left back uh, Real Madrid Bale, that would be so dope. If they gave him like, you know, the heart uh, dynamic image, that'd be really sweet as well. So there's so much potential with these end of an era cards. We would love it. But a lot of times with end of an era, like we've seen Fernandinho, Chiellini, they don't actually change the position. So we'd probably expect... Uh, that Gareth Bale to be a right wing, and I'm just getting my hopes up. But, you know, just continue to watch the market. As we talked about in last night's video as well, watch these Premier League cards. I know we just talked about a La Liga Gareth Bale, but a lot of your Premier League cards continue to move, right? Kyle Walker last night, I bought him at uh, 260, sold him at 290. He's right around 300,000 coins again. Um, just keep an eye on these cards, right? They're so rare, the ones that you want to keep an eye on. Just pick out the rare ones. They fluctuate like crazy, and we are still getting a lot of Premier League content. And that's going to make them move as people move towards Premier League teams with a, maybe a Trent Alexander-Arnold coming today, the Vardy that we have had, the Fernandinho that we have had, the Richarlison, and stuff like that. So keep an eye on that side of the market as well. It's, it's all going down this weekend, guys. It's going to be a very fun Friday. I can already sense it. Hopefully EA bring the hype. But seeing that 85 times 5 in the code gets me pretty excited as well. Hopefully we get some more information today, maybe a few leaks that would help us kind of be able to decipher what's going to happen tomorrow on a big Friday of, I guess, Shapeshifters Week 3 is what we're going to call it. I don't know if it's Team 3. We don't have any other leaks yet. So again, a lot in the air. I'm excited to cover it. I'm excited to see what comes out. Hope you guys are too. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.